back at you. Today we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go on a little adventure, right? Yeah. Yeah, what are we doing? We're uh, hunting for different kinds of mushrooms. Yeah, so we were actually, um, we actually picked some chanterelle mushrooms the other day, and when we mm -hmm. did, we noticed we have a ton of mushrooms, eh? So, um, and we were trying to decide how we're gonna do this because we don't know uh, what kind of mushrooms um, all these are. So um, I think what we're gonna do is pick one of each and then we're gonna bring them back up to the house and um, try and identify them, you know, using the internet and stuff. And so we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna grab up. We actually have, my wife made this super pretty basket right here, but she won't let us use it. Uh, because she's afraid half the mushrooms are poisonous. She's probably right. And she wants to collect other stuff that we can eat in that basket. So we have this ugly uh, plastic bin here. But anyways, let's get going, bud. I, I already, I can, I know there's some right along here. And we can work our way down here. Um, we can check the side of the hill over here and then go down in the woods. Because there's just mushrooms yeah. everywhere. All different kinds. So let's do it. I remember seeing some over here. Yeah. Here's some. Oh, here's some chanterelles. Yeah. Just grab yeah, one. Yeah, look of at those. that. Just get like one. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Nice. We got a lot of chanterelles here. Here's yeah. another kind of mushroom right here. I don't know what it is, but grab it. We'll add yeah. it to the collection. Watch where you're walking. There's tons of mushrooms. Whoa, look at those gills. Be careful the with them. Oh, yeah, cool. They're like super deep. There's mushrooms all over the place. We got big ones and small ones. They're all in the woods down there. And I know that there's some more around here. Here's some right here, bud. Oh yeah. Some big ones. Get this one right here on the end. Carefully get it. I want to be as careful as we can so we can identify these when we get up to the house. Grab it from the base of the stem. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, one. Probably kill us in an instant. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, there's one right there. Doesn't look great. Maybe we'll leave that one and hope yeah. for hope for another one. I don't know if we should pick one. I don't know. Maybe we should pick it just so we get one of everything. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to identify in this state, but ooh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a cool little uh, like, caterpillar or something. I don't know. I'm going to leave yeah, him there. Yeah, just though. leave that yeah. there. That'll probably kill me just by touching it. All right. I know there's more. Ooh, there's another jelly blob of a mushroom. Yeah, same right there. Gross. Those are obviously expired. Yeah. So we'll keep searching along the road here, and then we're going to search this little hillside here. What do you see, bud? I just saw a cool butterfly. Oh, gotcha. We'll search this hillside here, and then we're going to go down in the woods and search some. Oh, yeah. Well, hold on. Look at that. Nice. Fine, bud. All right. Pick it carefully. Yeah. There. Man, those mushrooms just look at me. I know that we have several varieties up here. Let's go look up here, and then we'll come back down Look down here. I remember one. Yeah, let's go check it out. Like it's, I think a couple of feet over. You guys can, way, you guys can see this vine all over the ground. Just wisteria. I want to encourage everybody out there to never plant wisteria. <laughs> it's, it may it's, make good baskets, but yeah, yes, it's that's not that's working. actually what uh, my wife made that basket out of that you saw earlier. But like Teddy wow. said, it's not worth it. Oh yeah, snail right there. All right, I know there's mushrooms over here. We saw like five or six different kinds. Here's oh, some. Here's one. What you got? Oh, yeah. Man, that looks like it'll kill you. Yeah, I guess grab it up. It doesn't look great right now. Maybe we'll find a better specimen of that one. Oh, man. Here's some right here, bud. Do we already have one of these? Mm. I don't think we do. Yeah, we have this one. Yeah, so we'll take that one. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. 
But there's a white one right here. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think so it'll be easier to identify. I'm going to get rid of this No, one. no, I think those, those could be two different kinds. Oh. Let's just... Yeah. It's just until we're 100% sure, we'll just keep them all. Look at this little one right here. Oh my gosh, guys. Mushrooms are everywhere. The mushrooms everywhere. Oh. There's a tiny white one over there. There's this one right here. Well, like totally camouflaged. Yeah. It's kind of purplish. Yeah. Nice. No. Oh, we... there's a white one. Hold on. Yeah. Watch out. There's two different varieties here. We have these white ones, and we have these. I think you might already have No, one this one's a light brown on the, in the middle. I think that's the same. But grab up one of these. We can we can sort them when we get back to the house, and if we got yeah. doubles, that's okay. Oh, look, an old cicada exoskeleton. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, grab, the, let's grab this guy yeah. over here, this nice one. Nice. All right, there's, I think there's more up here. Yeah. You guys can see we're kind of we're in a, we're under the the canopy of a whole bunch of like oak trees and uh, tulip poplars, and we're on the side of a mountain too, probably about 2,500 feet above sea level. There's all sorts of mushrooms. We accidentally stepped on that one. Here's another one over here. I think that's what we just got, but I'm not sure. We'll just take it up to the house yeah. with us. Like I said, we can sort them when we get up there. There's some more up here. I think there's a patch of chanterelles up here. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. Whoa, it's like sponge. Actually, I think we might have a bigger one of those over here. Whoa. Yeah, right here, remember? Yeah. Let's see the bottom of it, guys. It's like a sponge. Get all these leaves off. All right. Well, we're getting quite the collection here. Yeah. And I know we have a whole patch of chanterelles up here, but we already grabbed a chanterelle. There's one right here. There's a mushroom right here. Yeah, what do you got? Oh, yeah, that's a weird one. Ooh, did the cap just fall in on itself? Or? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Strange, guys. We'll grab it up, though. All right, here you go, bud. Can you... Yeah. Oh, what happened? You find a shoe? Yeah. Teddy's off camera over here saying, I found my little brother's shoe. You oh, I can hear the little birdies up there. We got a bird's nest in our Yep. I remember a real roof. good one down on the hillside. Yeah, we'll, yeah, 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 we'll go down there. So watch out. But, mm -hmm. So they, here's a bunch of chanterelles. Some of them are older, but these are a great edible uh, mushroom. With more down here. Right here. We've already picked enough of these to eat, though, so we're going to leave the rest of those. All right, let's go down here. Oh, look at this one right here. Looks Whoa. like it's like a false chanterelle. Yeah, it looks like it. Huh? Well, it might be a it chanterelle. It might be a chanterelle, actually, yeah. It's just, just a perfect circle. Yeah, right. usually usually they're not like that. Like There's a half of a red one. So we got a red one. You got a red one? Nice. Uh, I think those might be a little different. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep looking. We have quite the collection so far. There's lots of mushrooms here. Some of them are so expired. Some even, did you just pick that one? It was laying on the ground. I think something oh, knocked it over. Cool. Here's, I think we already have this one, right, bud? Um, yeah. Yeah, we have one of those. Well, this one's prettier. Yeah, it's a perfect color. Yeah, we're going to take this one and trade it out for that one. Yeah. I think this might be the same kind of mushroom right here. Yep. Yeah, it is. And then where's that? There was a huge one down here. Oh, it's right there. I almost feel bad picking it, but we're gonna because... I remember it I wanna... was like right on the... Oh yeah, there it is. Look at this, guys. Don't pick it yet. Hold yeah. on. This is just quite a specimen right here. It's just growing on the side of this... Looks uh... like it has a spongy bottom. Yeah, it does. Super cool. All right, you're gonna go ahead and pick it, buddy. Yeah, let's get all the leaves. Hold on, let's yeah. get all that junk off of it. All right, 
put it with our collection. It's the biggest one so oh, far. Look at that, guys. All right. Ooh. Let's go search down here in the woods. Yeah. Look at this. I think we already have one of those? Yeah. These are just more of like a bowl. Yeah. They are kind of more like a bowl. The other ones were kind of heart shaped, weren't they? Yeah. Grab one of those up. Yeah. Some more chanterelles. Do we have one of these yet, bud? Uh, we have one of those. You sure? Yeah. I'm not sure if we do. Oh. oh, there's a little one right there. Yeah, and look at these down here. Oh yeah, hold on, let me get it on the... Mm -hmm. They're like shiny. Yeah, oh, those are cool, they are shiny. Hold on, let's see. Look wow. at that, guys. Look at the gills go all the way down, but this is not a chanterelle. All right, let's keep going. I know there's more mushrooms down here in the woods. So now we're entering like full woods. We were kind of up by the house up there on this little hillside, but yeah, we're now we're just going straight into the woods here. And you can see we already have chanterelles right here. Do we have this first Oh, one? I don't know, that's a good one. Grab it up. Oh, that's a delicate one. Oh, look at the little ring on the... Oh, that means they're poisonous. Yeah, that's what Molly said. I'll have to... I'll eat that one when we get back to the house, guys, and oh, I'll let you know if it's poisonous. If it is, we'll uh, shoot a clip of me in the hospital. Ooh. What you got, bud? This is a full red one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Grab that up. Like a dinosaur mushroom. I love these. Yeah, grab that up. Oh, wow. Look, guys. Look at all these chanterelles over yeah. here. Holy cow. We got a... Sorry, this is... I'm getting, I'm getting a little distracted over here. The line of yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. Some of these are beautiful. Yeah. I think we need to trade one in for our little chanterelle. These look a little older than the ones I just showed you, but man. It's like a line of them that just goes on and on. Look at them all. Man. I don't want to step on any of them. All right, so we already got chanterelles. And there's one mushroom right here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that one looks... Yeah. I guess we need to grab it. Mm. Careful with that bucket. Don't let them slosh around too much. Oh, man, I don't know. That's a, mm. that's a heap of a... I see another mushroom over there. Okay, let's go check it out, bud. It's like big and white. I'll tell you what we have. Oh, it looks like it's falling apart, maybe. go in this one goes up oh yeah look at that that's interesting never seen one like it it looked like it was falling apart but that's just the one next to it yeah, keep that one look at this guys look at that it looks like a bunch of toys toy mushrooms almost yeah in a bucket all right let's go let's keep looking yeah. see a couple more over here oh here's a cool burl That's cool. Yeah. There's, there's some mushrooms. So. There's one right there. I don't know if we have this one. This one looks slight different, but maybe not. Let me see. Maybe one of these bigger ones. Yeah. But I'm going to put it in there for now. And then we have this one. Whoops. He didn't want to go in the bucket. <laughs> Sorry, little man. And then this one, do we have one of these? That might be a chanterelle. Yeah, we, yeah. no, we have this oh, one. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. Looked, it was like the perfect round mm. chanterelle. So obviously, guys, at some point here, we're going to be reaching about, I know there's thousands of different kinds of mushrooms, but, you know, this time of year and in this environment, there's probably only so many that are popping up. So we're going to keep searching for a little bit longer. Um, if we don't find anything new, we'll bring these all back up to the house and uh, we'll, we'll try and identify them up there, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this kind. Either a oh. real dead chanterelle or it's still oh, new. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't know. We should keep it. It's another just... cicada exoskeleton. Yeah. Nice. Bye, right, buddy. All right, y'all, I think we'll, we'll have to get back with you. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. Here, look at this. Here's another one. Do we have this one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
tell you what, guys, we'll, uh, we're going to search around a little bit, and if we find a new variety, we'll get back with you. All right, guys, back at you. And this one, this is some kind of mushroom or fungus growing on these leaves here. It's going to be hard for us to collect it and bring it back to the house, so I'm just going to take a picture of it here. It's super cool, though. Anyone, you can see it next to my hand. It's not very big, and that looks like it's full grown. Anyone out there knows what it is, uh, just let us know in the comment section below. All right, y'all. We just came across an awesome mushroom. It's green. Oh, man, I want to get this one. Whoa, look at that. That is cool. Oh, man. All right, that added a new color to our pile, didn't it? Yeah. All right, y'all, we'll get back with you. All right, y'all. This one wins here for the smallest mushroom that we've seen today. Look how teeny it is. I don't even think we can get this one. Do you, bud? Uh, yeah, it's growing on a stick. Maybe just oh, look at that. I got it. Whoa. <laughs> All right, we're going to... Are you able to find it? Yeah, we're going to put this in our collection. Hopefully it doesn't get crushed by the other mushrooms. <laughs> we'll get back with you. All right. We just came across another teeny tiny little mushroom. And I don't know if this one is uh, just a smaller version of one of the ones we already got. Or... I don't know, it's teeny tiny. What do you think, bud? Yeah, let's keep it. Yeah, all right. All right, guys, we'll get back with you if we find anything else. All right, y'all, I just walked right past this one. Teddy spotted it right away. Yeah. And we don't have it yet. It's like purple. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah pick that one, bud. Oh, look how big that stock is. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That Whoa, is a look, prize. A Whoa, that is a prize. Yeah. Good find, buddy. Thanks. All right, I don't know where I'm going to put this. I don't want to crush my smaller mushrooms. There we go. All right, guys, we'll get back with you. All right, y'all, back at you. And you saw I had a pretty display of mushrooms here. And my wife came and just ruined it <laughs> because she's having so much fun doing what? What are you doing? I'm identifying all the mushrooms. Yeah, she found an app and yeah. she's going to town I identifying them. I can't believe there's I think, a mushroom app. Yeah, I, oh, I can believe it. But um, you can't. Yeah, you can't trust it 100%. You can't trust it because I would say that, like, the first, you know, like you get the um, scientific name, Lactarius deceptivus or whatever. Um, I'm then I go through the first word, the lactarius, and I look at all the different, which is like a milk cap type mushroom. The lact lacto means milk, um, and then I can look at all the different milk caps and figure out which ones it is because it seems like it's only giving me the direction to go. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, all right. Well. So. Yeah. She's. Uh. We're gonna. We're working on identifying all these, and when we think we have. Um, an ID for each one. We'll get back with you and uh, and we'll show you what each one of them are. Yeah. All right, guys. So she's she's over there. She's still trying to identify the mushrooms. But we thought maybe one good way to identify them would be to taste test each one of them. No, no, no. And so we got yeah, we got this little guy right here. He's gonna do some taste testing for us, and uh, we'll let you know uh, we'll let you know how he likes them. What do you think, Raymond? Learning. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. We'll start feeding him mushrooms and we'll get back with you. All right, y'all, back at you. So we uh, we finally got all of our uh, mushrooms sorted here and um, she uh, took a lot of time looking them up and I think we've identified most of them. Um, first off though, Teddy, what were your favorite finds today? My favorite finds were- What's your two favorites? These two. Those two, this purple one right here. Super cool. Yeah. Super cool. And then uh, this shiny uh, orange one. Yeah, I like it because like, I don't know how it's shiny. And you said that orange one might be edible, right? Uh, no. Oh, okay. So it's not edible, guys. It yeah. So we got no, some I, here. Was... We do have some here that are edible. And then we have some here that um, will might kill us even. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, Teddy, which one is the edible one? The chanterelles right here. Yeah. These are the only ones we feel comfortable enough 
Yeah, out of this whole table. Uh, I mean, we table. we've um, we used to also uh, pick um, morels. Morels, and but, those I feel totally comfortable but with we don't. too. And I, then I got into doing the bolete mushrooms, the porcinis, and all that, and they, it just seemed a little. Too yeah, there's too many. For me to distinguish, yeah. and I, I decided like, that having the two mushrooms I felt good about was. Yeah, these good right here, the 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 lookalikes on these don't look very much like them. So we we've been able to identify them and you know separate out what is mm -hmm. real and uh -huh. what isn't. So, and then we also have some real scary ones, don't we? Yeah, yeah. they're the destroying angel. Right is is that really what they're called? Yes. And I think, guys, my video, they, they kind of look like they're, they have a blue um, glow to them. And I think it's because of the um, hydrangea mushrooms oh. here. The hydrangea mushrooms? Yeah. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, these apparently, what are they called, babe? Uh, the Amanita bisporigera. Sporigera. I don't know if I said that right, but it's definitely one that you don't want to yeah. eat. It's, that has a cool root ball at the bottom Yeah, these something. are, yeah. So we'll be trying that one tonight. And then these have a special little like surprise, surprise. as far what? as... What? Which ones? This batch is the same, just at different stages or ages or spots. I guess sunlight probably has something to do with it. And then this group is all the same as well. Obviously, this one's super old. Yeah. And this one is like a very brand new one. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so what are these? So, What's this right. group right here? So Let's... we have the chanterelle, mm -hmm. which we already kind of no. talked about. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, let's see, this is called the Lac Lacatiflis corrugus. And this is also called the corrugated cap milky. So from the name, you know, lactose, you can see that in the name of the mushroom. Um, and if you look at the pictures of this mushroom online, they have pictures of the gills with like a little bit of milk showing. And that's how you can tell oh, if it's yeah, a milky cat. Let's see if we can get in a little closer on that. Yeah, some give more milk than others, I feel. I think yeah, just... I think that there's less milk when they get older. Like this one's obviously pretty old. Wow. This was just from like one little room. Maybe trying a lighter spot under there. Yeah. No. Cool. But this was from the same area, I think, that these came from. And All then right. th these two were new. And look at the milk when we did see how fresh this one is. Look at oh, the yeah. look how much like the milk. Oh cool. So is obviously that, guys? like the newer ones. Now these are one, edible. I I don't remember. I'm just joking, I have no clue. So that's another one. But you see, they, they both have the milk, but they're totally different colors. But if you kind of look at them in person, you can kind of tell that they're within the same family. Right. Um, so that's that one. And then another one, um, this is the self saffron milk cap, which is also has the name lactose kind of in it. Lactarius deliciosus. Um, it sounds like sounds this one good. would be edible. <laughs> yeah, deliciosus. But, um, I need to further look into that, but see this one? Look at the Whoa. milk. You like barely Super tapped Super cool. It. And then here's an older one. Yeah, there's a little bit of milk in there, but yeah. not much, you know. It's not like squeezing out. But actually, when I, when I was doing the research, see, you can see more milk right there. When I was doing the research, these were, the milk was actually even better. But since it's been so warm out here, it's kind of, they've kind of dried up a little bit. All right, what about these? All these right. are the interesting looking so ones. So this is also an Amanita, which is the same family as the um, as the Destroying Angel. Um, and so I'm guessing this one is also poisonous. It looks like it would it's be. It's also called yeah. Yellow Patches or American Yellow Dust Amanita. Cool. So, um, that's what we think this one is. I mean, again, like there's other things that we need to do to like really know for sure. Yeah. If these are indeed these types of mushrooms. Yeah. Um, but as far as we know now, yeah, this guys, is what if we're, you, this if is you what think we're, we're wrong, if you think we're wrong, uh, you know, go ahead and school us in the comments below. We're, yeah, we're not, absolutely. we're not, we're not, we don't, we're not mushroom experts. Uh, we know a lot about some mushrooms, but 
we don't know about all these mushrooms. So, I mean, yeah. this is the first time we've seen some of these. So, so or that I mean that we've actually looked them up. And this so is this? the green cracked Brit brittle gill. And cool. so this one has like a real cool green crackly finish. Um, yeah, and it it's called, and the, um, the scientific name is Rosola Varis Varisens. 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 So we're not sure how to um, say that, obviously, but. Um. <laughs> nah, you got it right. Here's All right, what else we got? Right. Oh yeah, look at these. They've yeah. shriveled up. Oh yeah, so this is like this was like a just a tiny little mushroom, yeah. but obviously they're like nothing now because it's they've yeah. gotten so hot. But this we thought was the Mycena stylobates, which is also called the bulbous bonnet. Nice. Um, and then back here is an orange bonnet, which is also poisonous. That one looks poisonous. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it was real bright orange when we got it, it too. It. It's dulled a little bit. Yeah, it has. And that's Mycena acacula. Which one? This is Mycena uh, oh, okay. acacula. Okay, gotcha. That one right there, yeah. It's cool. All right, what else we got? All right, and then we already mentioned this one, the Amanita bisporigera, which is yeah. the destroying angel. And so you can see um, these had like little uh, rings around uh, the stalk. And that's one of the things, you know, like there's identifying features just by looking at a mushroom. You look at the, the gills. What kind of gills does it have? Is it like a, this kind of gill? Is it like Sponge. this like spongy type of gill? Yeah. Or is it like no gills? Yeah. yeah. Um, or is it like deep gills or whatever like so, shallow gills. and then another identifying feature is um is there a ring on the on the stalk um you can't see these anymore because yeah, they ring. dry up it's like one of the first things to dry up on yeah. a mushroom because they're real thin it definitely had but, a ring if you guys remember earlier in the video <clears throat> You. As soon as we saw that, I said, I promised you guys I'd try it when we got back up to the house. So when she's done telling you what all these are, I'll give this one right here a try. And uh, we'll see how it goes, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. All right, what else we got? All right. Um, here's another milky um, variety. It's called the Lacetarius deceptivus. Actually, no, this one was not the... Um, the one that had milk. So yeah, this one. Yeah, you can one, tell from the name. This one kind of looks. Deceptivus. Look, this one kind of looks like this, right? Uh huh. A lot like it. But it's not. But these it, are like heart shaped. But this one never had the milk. Yeah. On it, so um, I had to look for something else. So this is like a, a mock milky cap. Nice. Did um, you, do we do these yet? Nope. So these are like the boleta. So boleta mushrooms are the ones that have like the spongy type of a uh, gill yeah. and so we've got like this kind and um this was another one that has Whoa. like the spongy bottom and this has a little spongy bottom nice. this one and these right here so these are the first ones that i did because i don't these are my favorite kind of mushrooms i think with these because i feel cool. like um once we kind of look into doing spore prints and stuff i think these end up being the coolest yeah, that's super cool look so at these. and that's another test we'll do well this is the biggest mushroom of the day and i just love this purple one right here it's so cool is it not it's yeah. like it's just like super cool it looks like it's from a movie almost we got some good finds today yeah, yeah we did the, um so We'll talk about all these boletas next. So this one I thought was the cyan cyanoboletus um, because this is the one I've played with these in the past. Where you, some of these um, boleta, like you can identify them when you cut them, they'll turn blue immediately, and then that's a distinguishing feature. They won't turn blue, or like their gills will turn yellow, or it seems like when sometimes there's like a chemical reaction when you cut a knife into some of these boleta mushrooms and that's another test that you do and then um another thing we'll do is we'll set these on a piece of paper and see what the yeah we're actually the spores look like yeah we're gonna do some tests with these guys we might have to make another video out of it because of my battery's running low here but yeah but this one is the austro boleta boletus 
Gracilis. Sorry, I'm so reading cool. upside down here. I think this one is edible. Um, this is like a porcini type of a mushroom. And if you smell it, I mean, it smells Does it? It smells good? For sure. Yeah, it does Let's smell see. good, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm not sure that's a distinguishing yeah. edible feature. <laughs> yeah. So don't go. Don't you. It does smell good, though. Um, and then, let's see. This one, this was our favorite. Me and Teddy's favorite. And this one could be a cyano over there, but this one was different because it had this, like, um, raggedy looking, it was actually called a shaggy stock boleta mushroom. Um, but I think I'm almost positive that this one is called the Hymeophorus betula. Gotcha. Um, which is the shaggy stock boleta. Cause the ones that I found of this like looked to the T like, like this one and all of them kind of looked similar. So it's kind of difficult because with, with mushrooms, like some of the caps are like this and some of them are turned up and, um, it makes it look different. So it's hard to kind of distinguish this, the like kinds. And then the other boleta is this bo boletus edulis. And this is also called the penny bun, the porcino, or the set mushroom. Um, and again, we won't know about this one until we cut this one in half. If it turns blue, it's something else versus, you know, not turning blue. So, um, so we'll have to test that one um, further. But I think this is an edible one. I mean, look how big it is. I mean, this is like the probably two pounds. Yeah. Um, of mushroom. No, it's not two pounds, but it also looks any. like other things have been eating it already. <laughs> yeah, it does. So that's, I feel like that's a good sign too. I don't know. But, um, anyways, I think that's all the boleta mushrooms. And then here's another Amanita. Remember, Amanita is this destroying this, angel and so the, potentially, uh, um, poisonous. And this, uh, yellow patches, the yellow dust am Amarina. Amanita. Yeah. Gotcha. And then, so this one was Amanita rubicens, also called a blusher mushroom. And this one was interesting. Um, it asked if it had a ring around the stalk. And the ring that's going to be on this one, see, this is a baby one of these. And when they get bigger, they the caps get like this. Just like, cause this is an Amanita too. Um, this, you can see, this is the skirt up in here and I think it becomes detached and then, and then the gills show underneath at that point. So you can't see the ring around it, but that is the ring up in the gills. All right, cool. And then two more. Uh, this is the Rus Rusula Rosea. This is the rosy brittle gill, we think. Pretty sure about that one. Um, and then this one I wasn't totally sure on. Um, this was the Tuberia furfurosea or the Scarfy Twiglet mushroom. Hmm. Um, and then I also thought it could also be the Gymnopus perinatus mushroom, but I wasn't quite sure with either of them because I couldn't find any that were like this shape. All the ones I saw were more of a yeah, again, guys, if you if you have a better idea of some of these or you think we got it wrong, um, you're not going to hurt our feelings. If you, It'd be great if you could comment below. Don't just give us a thumbs down. Actually, school us or something because, yeah, like, we're I just trying to, to learn. I just trying to learn what this, you know, what they all are. And Mushrooms are so interesting. Make the video informative for everybody else. So, all right, cool. Well, uh, thank you for uh, for taking all the time to look these up. Uh yeah, and um, so she I'm took do, a lot of time to look them up, guys. I'm gonna so. do the next round of tests, um, and I'll, I'll do a video, I think. Yeah. Um, showing the process of um, what I come yeah. up with there, yeah, yeah, the right. spore prints and cool. cutting them and looking at the different colors. Yeah, and and Teddy, thank you. He helped us find them all. Yeah, all and right. he helped us identify them too. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, y'all. Well, she just got something, or got bit. I don't know. Or got scared. Yeah, I don't know. All right, y'all. I hope you liked our uh, video here. Like I said, if you have some more information for us about any of these, just uh, comment below. Till next time, everybody take care. <laughs>